Forbes magazine says North Las Vegas is one of the most dangerous airports in the country. And who could forget those horrific images when two planes crashed into two different homes in the span of a week last August. And now some community leaders say they're ready to take on the FAA in the name of safety. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Aaron Drawhorn joins us from the airport. What's going on, Aaron? Well, Dave, this could be a huge fight. It all started as a safety issue. Now it's becoming a political issue. One accident was bad enough. An experimental plane crashed into a home, killing a pilot and two people inside blocks from the North Las Vegas airport. Then, less than a week later in late August, it happened again. A Piper Navajo plummeted from the sky into a home in another fiery and deadly crash. Anytime lives are um, affected and anytime you're sitting in the confinements of your home, minding your own business and a plane, an experimental plane crashes into your home, that's of grave concern. Clark County Commissioner Lawrence Weekly and Aviation Director Randy Walker stopped by the North Las Vegas City Hall to convince the council to join their cause. After these horrific crashes, they want some of the federal government's power to be taken away in favor of more local control. For one, Clark County would like the power to ban experimental aircrafts from the North Las Vegas airport. We have no control. Once, once we build an airport and, the, and, it, and it's part of the federal system, which all of our airports are, then you must follow all the airport rules and regulations that are promulgated by the Federal Aviation Administration. Walker would like to see the experimental planes take off and land at the Gene Airport. It's unfortunate that um, our director doesn't have that type of um, enforcement power here in Southern Nevada that we do have to answer to the FAA. Weekly and Walker realize the risk of air travel will never be eliminated, but they are confident with some changes in the law, the North Las Vegas airport can get rid of its reputation. Commissioner Weekly has sent this letter to Nevada's congressional delegation hoping our U.S. Uh, representatives and our two U.S. senators will get on board. But not everyone is behind this idea, including the agency at the center of it all. In a statement, the FAA says the United States Congress has determined that the Federal Aviation Administration should have sole authority over civilian air traffic operations in this country. We believe, the statement goes on to say, Congress has acted wisely and and that current laws should remain in place. That is a statement, and that's our story tonight. Reporting live tonight in North Las Vegas, Aaron Drawhorn, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Aaron, that makes it sound like there's really not much of a chance the federal law could actually uh, change. Well, it could, Dave. Aviation laws do change. Back in 1990, for example, Congress actually took away some local authority that communities had dealing with noise, things of that nature. So keep in mind, this is a new Congress, so it's not out of the realm of possibility, but a lot of people we spoke with tonight agree it could be an uphill battle. Dave. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Aaron.